This is tutorial number 114, and it covers the angle constraint within CATIA v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 113, which is located on the DVD. So what we're going to be doing is using the angle constraint to create different angles between all of these faces. Now the angle constraint can be found on the toolbar over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the brown squares first, and we're going to rotate them and create angles between them and the flat surface here. So let's start off. Let's click angle constraint, click this face here, click this face here, and right now it's at 180. Let's make it 150. Click OK. Click update. And you can see that now it's 150 degrees. Now if we double click and go into it uh, and click more, you're able to change and play around with the sectors. So as you change the sectors, you're able to see really what you want to see. So in this case, what I think would be reasonable was a 30 degree angle. So you can tell that there's a 30 degree angle going on here. And if we change this to 40 and then update it, it turns into a 40. And that's what, to me, I would be looking for now you're going to have to play around with the sectors to really figure out what you want. So again, if we go back into it and change it to sector one, I believe that's what it was before, 140. So by playing around with the sectors, you're able to figure out and uh, manipulate this angle so you can see really what you're making. Now let's do some more here. So let's click uh, angle. And this time let's do it along two lines. So this line here and this line here, it's at 180. Now let's make it 120, click OK, and update it, and now it's 120. Now if we double click on it, and if we, oh, in this case, sorry, with the lines you can't change the sectors in this case, but again, you're just going to have to play around with it until you get the right angle and look that you want. So now let's do this face to the inside face, click angle, click this face, and this time let's do it to this face here. So right now it's at 90, let's make it 75, click OK, click update, and now it's rotated to 75. Now let's do one more, so we'll click angle, and we'll click this face here and this face here. Right now it's 75, let's make it 50 click OK, click Update, and now it's rotated 50. Now, in my perspective, this is the wrong way that I would want it to rotate. I was hoping it would rotate this way. So let's double click on it, click More, and let's play around with these sectors until we find the sector that we want. So I think it's this sector right here. Now I want this to be 50. Click OK, click Update, and now we've rotated it to 50. Now with all the angles like I've been showing you, you need to play around with the sectors to uh, really figure out and really get the angle you're looking for. Sometimes if you want a 10 degree angle, you might have to put in 170 depending on the sector. So playing around and moving the sectors around is really going to help you uh, adjust and get the angle that you actually want when you go and update it. So in this case, I showed you how to do uh, this face, so one face to one face, a line to a line, and then this face to an inside face, and constraining this face to a face that's already been uh, adjusted with the angle. So even after one that's already been constrained, you're able to use that face that's already been constrained and make another angle constraint off of that too. So you're able to stack up a bunch of constraints from one another. Now just to show you, if I double click and change this 75 to 90, everything's going to update around it. So if I click update, that guy's going to move too, everything's going to move. And that concludes our tutorial on the angle constraint within CATIA v5.